Hello guys, welcome back to Europa Parparum. So last time we managed to capture Gera right here, where unfortunately we have a very low public order, but we're gonna try to increase it very quickly. We're just gonna repair this stuff, and we're gonna receive more 20% public order. I'm gonna do this, and then gonna be 35%. And because the population box is just gonna be a little bit better, let's just see. That's right, law and buildings of entertainment is gonna be 35% next turn. Then we're just gonna build some, uh, some stuff some uh, allied state and then we're going to go to a general and so on so it's going to be alright so let's go with the campaign let's see what's going to happen next so last time we managed to besiege this town that perhaps going to take it next turn and then yeah we had also a rebellion here but now everything is going to be fine we're just going to try to take the town of Asak and we're just going to try also to attack the two kids like right here with some of our armies we're not gonna try to take Kortai, it's gonna leave this because there must, might be a rebellion here. And the Skith, the Skithids might rebel here in Kortai, so we're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna try to take, for example, this town or this town where they still have a lot of troops, unfortunately. So just, just, just go on with the game and see what's gonna happen next time. Like I said. I got some troop movements around the empire, which yeah, is good. Actually, a lot of our armies are just moving forward, which is very good, actually. <coughs> which we got some generals with their armies that are moving extremely, extremely slowly. This is really unbelievable. He should have moved a little bit faster. We have like 40,000 denarii income, which is good. Unfortunately, we have a lot of rebellions, I think. Riding in three of our major towns. First of all, is right here, where the tax rate is actually pretty much better. Hopefully, they're not gonna rebel next turn. We're just gonna try to build this. And that's why this kind of brings us a little bit more public order, like 5% more. Although, the most important thing is that we're gonna have some... We're gonna recruit the general. It's gonna bring much more public for Now, I'm not sure what's gonna happen if, for example, we're gonna bring in a general. Let's just see which one of them. First of all, I would say let's just get this guys out. With this general. Now, 20%. There is no break. This is going to Maybe this chair is going to be something much more. 35%. Uh, no, this is not going to bring too much. But we could get either these horses. Uh, 45% is much better. Now let's bring... Although, although it's not a good idea to bring forces in, I, I don't know what this is gonna bring. Still 45%. Whatever, let's just leave it like that. No, wait a minute, actually, I'm gonna bring the, this cavalry back, and I'm gonna bring this guys back. It's gonna be still 45%, and hopefully we're not gonna have a rebellion next time, but I actually hope. Alright, let's see what else is going on here. Another one in here. This is unfucking believable This fucking savage is it just... Rebelling all the time. Let's just see what's gonna happen if we kind of get this guy out. Perhaps it's gonna be much better. Yeah, it's gonna be better. This is good. I've also seen that they have less and less population. We're not able to put any general because of this stupid fucking rebellion. Whatever. This guy's gonna stay out because it doesn't bring anything good to this town. And I would basically like to put up a new unit here or bring in a new unit. From here, from here, such as this unit here. Let's just bring it in. Maybe just gonna increase the public order a little bit more. Still 70%. Uh, this is still okay. So let's see. This guy be cool. And this guy is just gonna have to wait. So here things will be better. Now we have a huge rebellion right here. 
We have this idiot here, but the tax public order is zero. What the fuck is public order zero? Then the red motherfucker. Now he's much better. This fucking idiot is not good at nothing. It's not doing anything yet. Alright, we're just gonna have to repair all this shit. Wait a minute, what? Six, seven thousand denarii repairing? This is fucking bullshit. Just gonna try to re retrain this idiot. And we're just gonna leave this down the way it is right now, because it's just a total fucking mess. Let's try to bring this guy. Ah, this guy is... This idiot is the stupidest motherfucker i ever seen. He doesn't do anything good. He's also an imposter, and he's just a fucking general. Let's just send him here. Look at this idiot, he's just retreated. Uh, let's just bring this guy here. Yeah. No, it's gonna be a little bit much better, to say the least. Just gonna retrain them. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need a new general if we want to send him Azaka, but not now, I'm gonna do this other time. And we're gonna send this guy out to battle because he's just completely unable to do anything. Right, the situation is gonna be better anyway. This is in some of the troops here, and we got a very good general, finally. Okay. It seems that the Arabians are the most advanced faction now. This is strange. And, yeah, we're just gonna send these guys back for the training, although... It's not gonna bring too much. Because most of the troops will not be retrained, whatever, but we're just gonna try it. Our situation is good here. We do have some very nice troops here. Just send them. Let's see. Rorari and Hastati. There are some print deaths. 17 years old. This is good. I'm just gonna have to retrain these armies as well. And then I'm just gonna bring those troops back. Um, let's just try to retrain them anyway. This is what can we retrain? So something like some um, Greek units, although that would be in here or in Antiochia. I think the best would be in Antiochia, so we just send the boys right there in Antiochia. Where suddenly our tax rate is going down, although we're gonna build this, this is really good. The general that we have here is a family member, but he's also a very good guy. Now here we're having a small price reduction, so we could just build recruit more troops, but perhaps not now. We're suddenly having more fleets anyway. We just attack these guys here. Sink them. First of all, we're just gonna sail here and we're gonna attack this fleet as well, but we're just gonna need more ships in order to completely annihilate them. In Rome, we have recruited some new units, and we will recruit further new units, although they are pretty expensive, but actually not that expensive. Like I said, we have some price reduction, so let's just take advantage of it, let's recruit more legionaries anyway. A lot of units have been retrained all over the place. That's what happened here. In Seleukia. We have built this, but unfortunately we're still not able to recruit some, uh, some legionaries, perhaps, right, yes, right now, but we're just not going to build it, just, we're just going to wait first. Yeah, these fucking savages have destroyed the buildings. Fuck, motherfuckers. Alright, he would have just taken this town, and I would say, let's just build this stuff here. I don't want to be able to recruit legionaries, retrain legionaries right here. In no but man, let's see how the tax rate is looking very good anyway. Right here, hopefully we're gonna survive to the next turn. Otherwise, I think that the Arabian rebels will come out. Gotta 
get this guy out. So what, what happened? So I was Chinese consul plus to influence in the Brakte. He's already 50 years old, but he's doing a very good job here. We also have a small no, we don't have any price uh, discount here. But it's just cool to know that he is console. Pneus Augustus is also console, plus to influence in Halicarnassus. And he is a family member, 57 years old. He's gonna have to recruit a new general here because this guy is gonna die soon. So let's just do it. Is it govern here? Caius Regulus is interloper in Anikana, but this situation is still good here, so I'm not gonna change anything. Although the public order could be much better, but just okay. Appius Licinus is very wealthy in Damascus. This is also a general, I think it's also a Greek general, if I'm not wrong. Which is good. Nemus Augustus is a good tactician. This is this old man. This Coda is a big interloper in trapezius, but he's also doing a good job here. So he's just gonna govern there uh, farther on. Mugis Mugilanus is starving. This is the guy right here, although I don't understand because this is our territory. Strange. Sextus Crossus is an inventor in Apamea. This is good. Poor disciplinarian. Build points. Ian Manius Silanus is orator in Zatracata. Could basically just increase just a little bit more tax rate. Type of generals, I would prefer a Persian general, perhaps you should govern better here. Who knows? We have anyway one of, the, one of our best units here available. Is that what I got? Taras is grown. Basically, I could upgrade it farther, but not now. Just not this guy's gonna arrive in Rome. This is good. And obviously it's minus 60,000, oh man, this, this was a pretty big investment what we did here. Okay, now let's go to Battlefront and see what can we do here. So, like I said, oh, they have captured this town, yeah, I just... Yeah, you know, they're coming out with General. more armies, that doesn't matter, let's just go up there. Orders. General. March. So, I would Orders. say, first of all, they're just arriving here, Onward. see what they will do. Or more troops are being recruited here, however, I would like to send just more cavalry or something. Just gonna send another one. Oh, this is perfect. Now, of course, we're just gonna have to recruit more units here, or the population is not the best, but it will be, I think. So. Three troops got here, right? Yeah, we're just gonna wait. I'm not sure what the kids will do, but we're just gonna try to tag them, for example, right, right here. Although they do have a lot of armies here, they have almost no armies. Yes, and I think they're gonna have, or they could have a rebellion here. In Kotai's public order is, you know, I think they can have another rebellion here as well. And they had already a rebellion, or maybe not, because their troops have been trade or something. General. Okay, we're just gonna wait. Perhaps they're gonna attack us. I don't know, but we're just gonna try to um, send them here. They could have two rebellions here. Oh my god, they have another huge army in here. I'm not sure. Yeah, because they just have a lot of units. That is the problem. And Arabella, we're having also a problem with the tax rate. So, 
let's try to recruit more units first of all here. And then we're just gonna wait, because otherwise they could just attack us, let's see. <coughs> we we'll simply need more, more units in Arabella. Alright, um... I would say, this is in this army right here. Yeah. That guy can just wait. We have another wonderful army, let's just send them also here. And have to recruit a little bit more troops right here, although we have no price discount or something, but we're still gonna recruit more units here. This is important. Anyway, we have anyway huge public order and stuff like that. And we're gonna need more troops because I want to make this army full. This one is almost full. And we're just gonna send them onward. Because like I said, I really want to take some Silicates down, at least these two towns here, and we're gonna leave these towns for the Sarmatian. Or perhaps we're gonna take them anyway, we'll see. But first of all, the target will be these two towns, we're gonna have to take them, no matter what. Okay, so that we can send all these armies. Now let's see what else is going on on the battlefront. Here is another army. Should also move forward. Also having a huge price discount here, so we just build more stuff. This guy is just moving too slowly, I just cannot do anything. This guy will remain here just because they gotta rebel. We will should be able to attack them. And this spy should just get to this town, see what they got there. In the meantime, we should be able to take this town. Now let's see. Oh, we have only two siege towers, this is not enough. This is just gonna take some time. I don't even know whether to attack them or not. They could attack us with a big army. Here. Although, maybe they don't have any other big army left. We'll just see. We should go towards this direction. I'm not sure what they have, or perhaps towards this direction. They do have two towns here at least that should be able to take, but first of all, they just go north and anyway. We're not gonna retrain this army, it's just gonna send them forward. Next we should be able to take that town. Let's move forward with these guys as well. Some very nice armies here. Watching and waiting. One percent and go in. Yeah, this is another Silky town that should be taken. In fact, there are so many Silky towns here. Another one here. And here we already have reached the border with Bactria, which is not at war with Silkids. And it's also not at war with us. You could see if they gonna attack us or not. Let's we'll see about that. There's also a Bactrian spy here. We're gonna send our guy in anyway. Very experienced one. And the question is where to send these armies? I would say let's send it towards Nisa. That's what they have here. They must have some fortress walls, eastern. Public order doesn't look good for Slickets as well. Alright, so I think that was it. Now let's see what is going on here. I mean, especially here. We do have a guy that would arrive. I'm not sure we're gonna 
be able to keep the public order. But we will see. Right, can we retrain something here? Only Arabian troops. So no, we cannot retrain anything. Let's just go north and then. This channel here. Just increase the public order a little bit and make it a light state. I think it's okay. It's only gonna have must be to recruit some troops, which is good. The question is what to do with this general. First of all, he's just gonna stay there. I'm not gonna do anything. This old spy should just travel a bit more before he's gonna die. Alright, and I guess that's it for now. I'm not... Wait a minute, we just have some troops that we should retrain here, but this is gonna happen in Rome. Here, we're having a great tax rate, which is good. because we're already needing some money so first of all we're just gonna wait a little bit I also wonder what the visions are doing I just thought they're gonna attack us but it doesn't seem to be the case if they will attack us then it's gonna be a little bit problematic okay wait a minute um So they have accepted, and there is a victory. Oh, perfect. Actually, perfect. What is this family member as well? 41 years old. Right, now let's see what's going on with our count here. Okay. Yes. Here also seem to be some problems, so we cannot recruit any more troops. It's just first of all we have to decrease the public order and just build some more stuff. This is Alexandria. Create one more unit anyway. Actually, this is gonna bring anything, but let's just try it. Oh, this is Palmyra. Okay. Yeah, we might have some price reduction, we might also... Yeah, this is good, first of all, one more unit. It's okay. This is also a family member, pretty good one. Equity is Germanical. Germanoro. Alright, now let's go on with the game next turn, see what's gonna happen next. <coughs> we are already in 173 BC. We have a very large empire. It's very, it's very difficult now to move our armies from one place to the other. The Seleucids are attacking with a very small army that is going to be completely annihilated. They do have, uh, however, some very experienced hoplites here. Two units of them, or well, let's say three units of them. Jewish spearmen and just a few Hellenistic elite infantry. I'm not, I'm not sure if they are still able to recruit this. Hellenistic elite infantry right now. Oh, this was gonna come out of it. We're just gonna move forward and try to take uh, those two big towns that they have right there. 
basically we're just going to try to exterminate them, but I just want to attack their strongest towns in which they can recruit their elite troops. This is the most important and from which they have the biggest income. This is what I want to do. To start the battle, they're going to, of course, attack us right away. I'm just going to put some of our guys in defense mode, although it's not particularly important right now because nothing is going to just put our guy in the center and our allies are just in reach, they're just right there, they're going to arrive really quickly. Okay, so let's see what's going to come out of it. So our Persian archers are already firing. Zerukis basically are having three, four units of phalanxes that seem to be very dangerous. They also have a general, which is a very big one, and a very heavy cavalry unit. So we're just gonna have to be careful of this unit. We have only one unit of Vigilis, unfortunately. I thought we got some more, but... Yes, and some... Anatolian killmen. But they're already there, but our allies have already arrived, so they're just gonna help us a little bit. Important, I think, for us to keep an eye on their cavalry, because they're gonna definitely give a charge to them. And this is a very, very heavy cavalry. Especially this one here, but this one here is particularly a one of their... We're just gonna send our troops against them. Important is to bring down their general. Uh, so they are retreating him. Important to attack here. Just gonna have to keep them busy right now. Just keep fleeing. Well, more or less. Time to get back now. Just keep fleeing. Losing more and more men right now. This guy's just gonna have to fight. Um, no, no, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, you know. We we'll just attack them there. We're just gonna wait for them to do something wrong, to say the least. So the general is now being gonna have attack there. The Kingsman cavalry has been almost annihilated and it's time for us to send our boys forward this is gonna try to get through That's not a good idea. There is their general. 23 of them. 22, and their kingsmen are also doing the perfect job here. Let's just go right here. We'll try to take them from behind. 
Uh, this is going to be a huge charge here, but it doesn't matter. Now, let's take their general from behind right now, because we should definitely be able to get them out. Important is to kill this general. If you're gonna kill this general, then it's gonna be okay. <coughs> this guy is resisting so much, this is unbelievable. This is heavy Persian cavalry, of course. Oh yes, this was this was the most important thing to do. It seems that they are basically Basically, we could have destroyed them with only um, one unit or something. Okay, so now they are basically under very heavy attack. Send our boys right here. So Antiochus Spartacus is dead. Just I thought. Just gonna retreat. Let's just attack them. Try to take them there as well. Yeah, we should have another general, maybe? I'm not sure about that. We should bring down their phalanxes for all, that's for sure. This is the most important thing that we should do. Here comes our Sarmatian horse archers here. Time to just completely bring down their phalanxes once and for all, all of them. Are still using the phalanxes? No, I don't think so. zero remains and we have lost like 242 men which is not that bad our allies have lost only three men and they have lost 698 including some pretty heavy phalanxes they had battle of hyazdan 173 bc time to move on with the game Let's see what's gonna happen next Hopefully they will attack us again. Victory! Yeah, it seems that they would like to attack us again. Question is, if they will make it, manage to do so. They have a huge army coming in, but they have less and less troops inside, and they have another rebellion here, which is perfect. Now we should try to get rid of this army and this general here. They do have another general here, and another one here. They have generals all over the place. Anyway, Kutais have rebelled again, which is good. have a unit of hoplites and some 
freed slaves. Improved roads and trade. Field of games, nomads. Pastoralism. some silicate buildings. So what I want to do is to take the guys right here to get rid of this army. They might accept it or not. Now if we would attack them here, don't have too many units and I think that we should do it. So let's just do it to see which army is bigger. Doesn't seem to matter much. But I'm still gonna try to attack them to completely destroy their army. Although they might retreat, they might flee. Oh no, they are not fleeing. That's perfect. Now it's once and for all, and we're gonna attack this army, which is pretty, pretty, pretty poor, I have to say. Although they do have two units of cavalry and some. Riders, but they're not that important. They have four units of phalanxes, which is going to be a problem. Their second army is actually very poor, so I think we should be able to overwhelm them and conquer them. That way, we'll, we'll make our way or our path onto those two towns that we need to take. And that means they should have less and less units there. <coughs> most important units that they have are their phalanxes, which are extremely tough, I have to say. So let's see. Yeah, they've just gone pretty far away, we're just gonna have to go after them. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna have to increase the speed a little bit. No, it's not gonna fucking work. Riders are firing. These guys are firing here. Oh my god, they're firing in our, in our general, but our general has gained some experience, so it's not a problem. And our allies are also arriving, as far as I can see. My god, who the fuck is firing like this? No, they cannot retreat, that means that we should just be able to completely annihilate them. I'm just gonna wait a little bit. And I really thought that this idiots would just fire. But they, I just think they have more archers than I thought. But they think they have only this cavalry. Oh yes, heavy Persian archers. These idiots are firing. Now I think that they are just trying to give a charge. Come on, you motherfuckers, just... Take a break and fire at the enemy, you fucking idiots. Just send our archers forward, maybe. These archers are so stupid, these Caucasians, they are firing from such a huge distance, but... Oh, this, these idiots are firing right there. Oh, we're just gonna wait a little bit. We have a lot of cavalry here, but this is everything they got. I think they're gonna have another allies or something. Straight, they don't. Whatever. And this is our second army. I basically thought it would be bigger. Where the fuck are those all of those units? Georgian made him cavalry. Made him infantry. I think they have retreated a little bit, so we just go forward, just a little bit. I don't think they're gonna move. Um, f 
more forward. Let's see what's going on. They have arrived with their... There is their general. Actually, their allies are here, basically. What are these? Daha Riders. Yeah, this guy is gonna be Who's annihilated right now. Actually, we don't have to do nothing. I'm 100% sure they're gonna be annihilated. We're already losing a lot of men. There is a journey here that should die. And they still have some cavalry, some heavy cavalry to say the least. Well, we're just gonna wait first. Our allies are anyway charging with our spearmen, so... I think it should be theoretically easy. So they are on complete fire here. They're already riding with their phalanxes. They have another unit of heavy cavalry, or at least... At least one, in fact, they have more. So let's see what's going on here. We give a charge here. Basically, we should have more, more, uh, more units than they, than they have, actually. But. Whatever we'll see. So their Kingsman cavalry, Persian cavalry is taking out Georgian unit. But I realize they're being given some town watch. They should completely and quickly put them into battle formation and attack with them. That would be very important. Alright, so many of them are already fleeing, but they still have so many units all over the place. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the best of units. Fortunately, these guys will be stuck here. Like I said, most important is that their general will go down. Okay, so one of their cavalry is fleeing. That's good because the flank is now free for us to attack from. Time to already attack in there. Some guys are being completely annihilated here. Oh, they arrived. Oh, fucking idiots. How the fuck did they... How the fuck did they encircle my fucking general like this? What the fucking motherfucker? What are our allies doing here? They should fucking attack. This motherfuckers came back like this. Didn't even fucking see it. Fuck, come on, just stay there. Okay, so their general is dead. Think of that our general is not dead anyway. This is very important. Fortunately, their fucking cavalry is fighting like shit. This is a very difficult battle they have. So many troops here, and these motherfuckers, look at them, they have just completely annihilated our guys. But they still have that fucking general that didn't die yet. And what, what, what do they have here? Portion spearmen? Portion spearmen. Those units are just Jewish spearmen. And this is our cavalry. Caucasian spearmen and heavy Persian archers. Alright. Let's take them here. What are these guys? Caucasian spearmen still. Hopefully we're gonna be able to attack there. All 
why this was gonna come out. Man, they have billions of fucking units. What the fuck do they bring these fucking units like this? And we have two full fucking armies which completely annihilate them. Okay, one unit of hoplites is down, thank god. And there are some other guys here. Wait a minute, they are firing. Okay, let's go after them. So this idiot is also dead. This is pretty good. That's good. So these idiots are also fleeing. I should just go down after those phalanxes. I just go down after this. More important, bring down those phalanxes than something else. Yeah, they're just fleeing almost all of them. There is another phalanx uh, uh, unit that just made it through. Okay, that's enough. Let's go after the skirmishers, maybe. And I just hope that our allies will also do a good job. For this guy's heavy Persian archers. Now, these are the most more important. Right, they are down. This heavy Persian archers are very important. And were important to bring down. So our general is getting some more experience. Let's get back to these archers. Caucasian spearmen. Let's bring them down as well. Come on, just hurry up a little bit. Must be exhausted, but he did a great job, the general here. And Persian spearmen. There is another unit there of Eastern Light Cavalry, but it doesn't matter, we're gonna bring it down right away. This guy's definitely all down. Yeah. Where is there? Nah, it's over. Okay, let's see. Oh man, we have lost entire units here. It was such a heavy battle. But they have also lost a lot of units. We gained some experience, unfortunately not too much. But, still okay, it was okay. A study has been wiped out here, and Sermation Horse Art has been experienced as well. Our Allied Army Battle of Hyas done 173 BC. Sir. Oh yes. Right now let's see. They do have an army here, which is not General, that important to say. And they have retreated with their troops here. They might have another rebellion, and I might need some more mercenaries, so let's see. Let's take these Georgians because I just think that they are one of the best. And here I like to um, another unit of the Sarmatian horse archers because they, are all, they also seem to be so cool and so important although these guys here have been completely annihilated and yeah but th that was okay and this one has been decorated hero and all the stuff that's why I think this hoplites must be seems must be a bit cheaper or maybe they're not no I don't think they are Step riders. Applied. Imperator. We have lost a lot of units. This is Small a bit fall over this old man. Hopefully we're gonna be to take this down and then we're gonna take this on. Although I think they're gonna have a rebellion here as well. 
Yeah, and everything they're gonna have left will be this town where they don't, still don't have a rebellion just yet, but maybe that they will have. Is it gonna accept to become protectorate? No, they don't want to give it up uh, lightly. And bribe, maybe? No, they don't want to. I just hope they can have rebellion there as well, but we're gonna see. Anyway, I'm gonna have to end the recording here, so thank you very much.